to squeeze into Carlos Sainz, always long tap between them already. Sainz has managed to edge low, low props in behind him. Christophs and side by side now. Sainz is pushing them out wide, they're running across the dirt. Carlos Sainz with the whole shot, the driver who hasn't got any racing experience is in the lead here. On the dust on the inside line, Sebastian Loeb looking to try and find a way. Loeb moved all the way, Sainz sorry, has moved all the way across the right. Chris thompson has gone left, going to try and carry the pace through. Watch now, Sainz is blocking off on the inside. Loeb's got him, X44 with the whole shot. In the background, has Chris has got extra exit speed with that line through. It is Needs Loeb in the lead. Where's Chris Thompson? No, Chris Thompson has. Somehow they've managed to get through and it's the Rosberg car that leads. Loeb's in behind, here we go, Sebastian Loeb on the hyperdrive, going for the pass and just blasts straight round the outside. Leia Sands responds by using hers as well, but Loeb has just got a nose in front, going to come down to the braking zone at the next crest. Oh, look, Stefan Sarazan is right there, Leia Sands needs to be super defensive now. Loeb, how quickly he's going to go across, he's got to take a risk on it, the cars are too close to be going slowly through here. Sarazan goes for an alternate line, launches the blockchain machine, it's a brilliant move by Stefan Sarazan to take the lead. Sebastian Loeb drops down to P2. Unbelievable. Leia Sands up and over the crest. Side by side now. Loeb is going to, oh, he's broken the suspension. He drops back. Sebastian Loeb going to take the win for X44. Second place, Leia Sands for Axiona Science. But incredible by Stefan Sarazan. I know the car's broken, but the dream nearly came true. What a semi final. Going to get into the rear quarter. Going to go up the inside of Sarazan. Cuts up over. Goes through the side of the lake. Loeb makes a pass. All over the back of the Veloce team, Sarazan not able to defend there, and Loeb taking a huge risk right by that lake. In fact, touched a couple of the tyres into it, but he managed to get round. That moves on, Jenny. It's on all day long, and I would actually argue you could probably drive through the edge of the lake. Well, he did so. Luke is all over the back of Hansen. He wants to try and do the under and go round him, but he can't quite get there. So this is the big splash. He's right on the back of him. Just look how close he is. He's going to crawl all over the back of him. They're in the switch zone now, though. There is a chance here, because Loeb is on the exit. If they can get this absolutely bang on, remember, the other cars will release almost the same time. Gutierrez gets into the car. So First away, it's Arlen Kotalinski for the JBXC team. She's away. Let's see how quickly the others react. She's coming around that corner now. Can they release the X44 car before she gets oh. there? They do! Brilliant tactics from X44. Loeb was right on the back. They had that switch zone slot on the exit of it. And X44 take the lead by coming out of the switch zone first. She stays top qualifies every time last time. And look at that Loeb right on the knife edge, up on two wheels, managing to land it again. But my word, the conditions out there, even for a legend like him, really tough. One of them gunned it, Jenny. I heard one of them. You heard the throttle come up. We were on board and one of them gunned it. Oh, Loeb's looking for an alternate route round to just see. What can I do here? Can I get round? He's if, trying to overtake. If he's gone on the throttle, if he's come off the pit limiter and gone on the throttle in that yellow flag zone, they will get a penalty for that. Carlos signs for a pass down the front straight. There's just a quick left-hander. The nose of the X44 is right up the inside of Xiona Sainz. Contact between them as they come up to the last gate before the start. He's made.